look the Moray Cough. Uh, there are a lot of colds going around at the moment, Ebony. Yeah, there are. It's that time of year. Um, and, yeah, a lot of people get colds at the moment. It's that time of year. And so we put up with them. I have spoken to um, a doctor who's... Um, basically said just keep drinking stay warm um and do what you can there's no point in having antibiotics or anything like that one thing i have noticed and this has been this week a lot of people think i noticed a lot of comments of you sound like you're whispering and stuff i wasn't i was genuinely that's all i can get out and one of the things that affects my voice, I don't know why it does it. The doctors don't know why it does it. But um, you all know that I use this inhaler. Now, I don't have asthma. I've never had asthma. And I have been checked. I don't have asthma. Um, but for some reason, when I use this inhaler, it helps. So I'm just going to give you an example. You can hear I'm croaking a bit at the moment. This is literally me just talking normally. I'm not faking it. I'm not forcing it. This is just me talking normally. And this is how it comes out. Now, when I start talking, you can hear the difference in my voice. And slowly, over the next few minutes, my voice will start croaking again. It's already happening. Now, this is the Atrovent inhaler. It's the green one. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hold on, where's the label that's got the green? There you go. Good Atrovent. And these literally it affects my vocal cords and <coughs> the muscles and the flexing in my vocal cords i don't understand it i'm not a medical expert i don't understand it um i definitely don't have asthma since 1975 yet this is all stuff that's been gone through by doctors I found earlier this week that when I started using my inhaler, it reduced how much I'm coughing. And I'm using a spacer, Kirsty, because I was encouraged to use a spacer so that I don't cough as soon as it comes in my throat because I was regularly coughing as soon as it comes in my throat. Uh, the inhaler. So by using the spacer, it spreads it out through the air and it's much easier for me <coughs> so sugar bunny what are my plans for christmas um so having moved by christmas I bloody better move before Christmas, I tell you. Um, I'll give you an update on moving in a second. Um, my parents are going to be coming to me at my new bungalow. And then my brother and his family are probably coming to mine on Boxing Day or the day after. I'm not yet sure which. Uh, that's the current plan. Might change, but that's the current plan. Have not moved yet. Would you like a moving update? Right, where are we? We're not even at 10,000 likes yet. When we're at 50,000 likes, I'll give you a moving update. So if you get tapping, when we're at 50,000 likes, I'll give you a moving update. I do have an update for you. 
Uh, Caroline, what do you mean you're confused because you're talking okay now? Uh, I'm not sure what the previous comment was, Caroline. Um, yeah, my voice comes and goes. I just used my inhaler and it improved and now it's gone down again. It's what happens. Yes, Victoria, I've had it now for two weeks. <coughs> Uh, Kirsty, I'm. I was very run down earlier in the week, and last weekend I was very run down. I was so ill last weekend that I didn't go to a family day that was planned. Um, it was a big family day. It was something quite important, and I missed it because I just wasn't well enough to go out. I wasn't well enough to leave the house. And I could barely stand up. I felt so ill. I'm feeling better. I'm not completely better, but I'm feeling better than I did last week. That is for definite. <coughs> <coughs> the Coven of Gamers. We met at the Travel Lodge. Hello, Coven of Gamers. I came home from Comic Con with a bad cold. <laughs> not sure which of the many people I met at the... Travel Lodge you are, because I met quite a few, but hello. Uh, still waiting. I'll give you an update on the move at 50,000 likes. Hey, Tootsie. <coughs> I've never smoked, Kaz. I've never smoked anything in my life. Um, never smoked a single cigarette. I've been a passive smoker because everybody in the 80s and 90s was a passive smoker. But I myself have never smoked anything. I do not like smoky atmospheres. I don't like anything. No, Hayden. Didn't come close. I was not well enough to carry on with the competition. That's when my voice went. <coughs> Do I drink alcohol? Um, Michael, yes, I do. Um, yeah. Tips for first timers on a cruise. Of course, Sugar Bunny. My biggest tip for a first timer on a cruise. Relax. Enjoy it. Don't try and do everything because you will fail. That is the biggest thing I'd say. Don't try and do everything. Prioritise what you want to do, but don't try and do everything because you almost definitely fail. And if you want any more specific um, questions, fire them at me. What is a passive smoker? Okay, Phoebe, I'm assuming you might be younger. Back in the 80s, that I was on a school bus every day and children, and I do mean children, under 16, would smoke on the school bus. And the coach company, the school, did nothing about it. And you would sit on the bus and you would be breathing in the air filled with smoke. That's a passive smoker. You're breathing in somebody else's smoke. <clears throat> yeah, so Phoebe, you're, you don't remember the times when smoking was legal on buses, in restaurants, in pubs, all that type of thing. They weren't supposed to, Fib and Peanut, but they did. Um, and it shouldn't have happened. Um, so yeah, secondhand smoke is basically what passive smoking is. In restaurants, in clubs, in pubs, exactly, Kev. Um, anywhere you went indoors, you, they smoked. I even worked for five or six years in an office where people were smoking around me and they didn't care that it affected me. They just carried on smoking. When the managers were in, nobody smoked. As soon as the managers left, they smoked and they didn't care. 
Um, and yes, people used to smoke on aeroplanes. Yes. Um, again, the recycled air gave a lot of people problems. Yeah, Tootsie, I can't believe people still smoke. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to blow my nose. Exactly, butterfly. <coughs> 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 if you watch films from the 80s and 90s you will see that people smoke in films a lot more than they do now what would you wear for dinner on a cruise okay sugar bunny that's a good question on a cruise ship on okay i'm going to ask you what cruise company you're going with sugar bunny um because i don't know which cruise company you're going with um it might be different for the cruise company you're going with um right thank you for getting me to fifty thousand likes keep tapping i'll give you the move update after i've answered sugar bunny's question cunard right you're going on queen mary on cunard you will dress up almost every evening on cunard Cunard is the posh end of cruising, in modern day cruising. Now, will you wear bright, shiny, glittery stuff every evening? The honest answer on Cunard is, I don't know. On, um, yes, Daisy, she was. <coughs> on P&O, you can dress up every evening if you want to but it's not essential. And most people only dress up on the formal nights on P&O. However, on Cunard, I believe they encourage you to, to be more formal because that's what Cunard is. It's much more formal than P&O. So I would go with a mixture of options and um, be ready for anything. I'm talking of being ready for anything. Can you hear the fireworks outside? Um, yeah. Uh, Dot Cotton and EastEnders, yes. June Brown, who played Got Dot Cotton. Yeah, Dot Cotton always had, a always had a fag in her hand, didn't she? She always was smoking on, 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 on EastEnders. So, yeah. <coughs> Where's Luna? Um, Amelia, she's just here in her cage. She can come out anytime she wants to. Um, she'll come out when she wants to. Kaz, can you feel the ship moving? Kaz, it depends what the sea's like, how rough it is. Also depends how big the ship is and also where on the ship you are. If you are low down on a cruise ship and at the front or the back, you tend to hear the feel the cruise ship moving more than if you're higher up and in the middle. Can you hear that? Going on nearby. Do you want to see if we can see any of it? Do you want me to see if we can see any of it? Might be over by the time I get to the door, but we'll see if we can see any of it. See if we can see any of the fireworks <laughs> and it stops i don't know if it's at the front or at the back alexa all lights off is it out the front or out the back just trying to work it out and there's nothing at the moment we might have missed it all. I think we've missed it all. Sorry, guys, I was about to show you, but I think we've just missed it all. <laughs> Some people are so impatient. I haven't moved 
moved yet. I have not moved yet, so I'm still in the old place. <coughs> yes, Gemma Jane, they'll start up again, won't they? Sorry, guys, I'm just going to use this again. Right, do you want me to get Luna out? And they've just started again. Come out and say hello. Here she is, everybody. <laughs> She'll probably go back to the cage when the fireworks start again. Can you hear them? Uh, Kaz, um, I've been told by doctors, Kaz, to use it as a nebulizer when it gets bad. I've been told I can use it quite a lot. It won't have any negative effect. <coughs> yeah, you're gonna... She's a bit worried, worried by the fireworks, so she has been spending more time in the cage the last few evenings because of the fireworks. So those of you who are in America might not know that the 5th of December here, we celebrate firework night. Uh, remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I see no reason the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. <coughs> 5th of November, Claire, not December, November. <coughs> Oh, is that I know of no reason. I always say I see of no reason. I suppose, yeah, I know of no reason the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Makes more sense, doesn't it? <coughs> yes, Dodie, uh, tomorrow is Remembrance Sunday here. It's always the closest Sunday to the 11th of November. And the 11th of November is the day that the armistice was signed at the end of World War I, uh, when the truce was declared, the 11th hour of the 11th day. That is why on Remembrance Sunday we celebrate and we remember at 11 o'clock with the silence. And it's so important that that is passed on. Um... It's so important that the next generation remembers and learns the reasons why we do all of these things. It's so important. <clears throat> right, Dawn, I'm only repeating what the doctors told me, Dawn. I use an inhaler, not a nebulizer. And the doctors told me that using this multiple times is the equivalent of using a nebulizer once okay so i'm repeating what in my words are what the doctor told me if you don't like it it's up to you rachel i'm feeling a lot better thank you for asking i'm not completely better but i am feeling a lot better than i was uh, Lucy, that's the normal recommended for a normal asthma inhaler, I believe. But I've not got asthma and I'm not using that for asthma. So, yeah. That's a good question, Jimmy. Why do people care? I don't know. <clears throat> no. Ollie, I have never smoked. And no, I don't judge people who smoke. That's up to them. Personally, I can't be around smoke. So for me, it's horrible. But you know what? I eat a lot of chocolate. I love chocolate. I'm a chocoholic. That is my medication <clears throat> of choice. Other people like smoking tobacco. That is their um, addiction of choice. So you know what? 
there we are. What happens when I'm around smoke? Um, I find it really difficult to breathe, Bradley. Vice, that's the word, Jimmy, thank you. Vice. Hope, I haven't seen a question from you, Hope, so I can't answer a question I don't see. Do, do, do. Thank you, Ollie. Right, house update. Do you want a house update? I have not moved yet, but hopefully I will have moved in two weeks' time. So, let me explain. My buyers have signed all their paperwork. I have signed all my paperwork. My solicitor has my paperwork. My buyer's paperwork is in the post. So my buyer's paperwork will be with their solicitor on Monday. Fingers crossed that we are going to exchange on Monday or Tuesday. I hope. So, hopefully we're going to exchange on Monday or Tuesday. No, Vicky, I haven't. No, I haven't. <coughs> I'd have been very cross if all the delays had meant that that happened, Vicky. But no, I haven't. Thank you, Callum. Thank you. <coughs> so, um, I'm exchanging with my buyer and then I'm exchanging with the person I'm buying from. <coughs> uh, Lisa, I'll be living out of boxes till after the move and after I've sorted everything out. That is not true, Exotic, um, Emma's Exotics, no. Exchanges used to be traditionally on a Friday. It doesn't happen like that anymore. Um, traditionally, yes, moves used to be a Friday. Now it's any day of the week. <coughs> so the biggest problem I've got at the moment is I can't book my removal company until we've exchanged. I cannot book my removal company. So I've got the removal company ready. <coughs> um, the removal company on Thursday still had space to move me on moving day. However, that could have been taken yesterday and it might not be available now. So I've got to wait for um, I've got to wait till we've exchanged to book a removal company. Exactly, Claire. Moving date isn't legally binding until we've exchanged. When we exchange, it's legally binding. They won't hold spots, Jimmy, for this very reason. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, I've got three different removal companies now that I've got quotes from. The more... I'm not naming the companies... The more professional companies cost a lot more. How much do some of you think it's costing to move house for me? Have a guess. Go on. How much do some of you think it's costing to move home for me? Have a guess. Oh, if only, Sarah. If only. It's in four figures. Make it easy for you. It's in four figures. <laughs> no, Callum, I'm talking about just the move. I'm not talking about the house price. I'm talking about the move. You know, the removal company coming in, boxing all my stuff up and moving it to my new house. 
<coughs> about four thousand three hundred pounds about four thousand three hundred pounds so gems they've all i've already done a lot of packing they're going to pack all my breakables they're gonna pack um my entire kitchen for me they're gonna move all of my garden plants and my garden stuff they're gonna pack my tv um uh, my little tv um they're gonna move all the furniture they're gonna move all my boxes uh yeah <coughs> so i've had um four three four different quotes the first quote was two thousand pound but when i asked them for a contract they said we don't do contracts we just use text messages when i asked them for their terms and conditions oh we don't have terms and conditions um and that worried me that really worried me so i quite simply said i'm not going to use a company that doesn't have proof of insurance doesn't have um terms and conditions and does everything by text message it's not professional it's there's no evidence there that it's insured the second company i looked at said it was a two-man job and they could do it all in a day and i was like no chance the third and the fourth company which are the two i'm going to try and use one of both companies said it's a four-man job over two days because I'm looking for a pack as well as removal. Because of the packing, they take time to pack the breakables. Um, the packing service will take a lot of time. Um, <coughs> I... Um, live in a three-bed house and I'm moving to a three-bed house and that's why it's costing so much um you all know I have a lot of junk or as I would call it my teddy bears and a lot of collectibles um I want to make sure stuff is moved properly safely and in one piece I don't have the energy to pack all my kitchen and everything else um chunk chuck chuck chucky chunky chunky rs sorry i was just checking i was reading your name right yes exactly i can't move boxes um i can't pack all my craft room i can't pack everything myself um so that's why i'm doing it <coughs> exactly callum other people call them junk i don't Note I said other people, Callum. Uh, I, um, I can beat you, Callum. I've got over 300. <laughs> I am moving to a bungalow. Yes, I'm moving from a three-bed house to a three-bed bungalow. So one bedroom is mine. One bedroom is going to be a spare room. And the smallest room of the house is going to be a snug, which is like... Um, in, in Wales, a snug is a small room that you use as a living room. And um, <coughs> it's kind of a small room, a cosy room, a nook, a snug. No, it's not a long distance. No, it's about, without being too specific, it's less than an hour from where I currently live. And that gives a very wide range of areas. Heather, haven't you? In North Wales, yeah, a small room with a log burner is quite often known as a snug or a nook. Oh, 
Well, that's what I was told when I lived up there anyway. <laughs> Sage, yes, it has taken a long time, but at the same time, at least it's now happening. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna have to blow my nose. <laughs> Sorry, guys. When did you start the house process? Rachel, my house went on the market last November. Hopefully I will be in in two weeks time. Okay, Chunky RS, I'll read it later. Thank you. So yeah, I started, I put the house on the market last November. The first offer I got was in... Late February. That fell through because they couldn't get a mortgage because they had a zero hours contract. The second offer I got was in May and they really liked the house. They wanted the house. I accepted the offer and then three weeks later, they just pulled out with no warning, no explanation, no nothing. The current buyers made their offer in early June and here we are now. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, it's a quilt, Sh Sharon. Um, that's um, in South Wales, yes. In North Wales, it's quite, it can be different. Exactly, Brooks family life. They are pretty much the same thing. Thank you. <laughs> I can't say it properly with a sore throat. Sorry, guys. Kyle, uh, North Welsh and South Welsh are very different. I know because I tried learning North Welsh and Welsh language has different dialects. Like a lot of places have different dialects. Um, the Welsh language has different dialects. How do you find house swaps? So it's not a house swap, sugar bunny. I am not swapping my house with somebody. I am selling my house. It's not a swap. So I'm selling my house and I'm buying a different house. It's completely different from uh, swapping houses. <coughs> Good for you, Kyle. I love North Wales. I lived up there for seven years. No, uh, El, Elodine, 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 I think it's Elodine. Um, I do not have COVID. I've done two COVID tests and it wasn't COVID. It's just been a very bad cold. <coughs> I can't tell you, Alid, because I don't, I'm not swapping a house. So I can't tell you how the process is. I can't tell you the, pro the process of swapping houses. I have no idea. I used to live, Rachel, in the middle of Snowdonia. Um, but because of my health, I left there 10 years ago. And I now live down in Buckinghamshire. No, uh, Brooks family life, my chest is completely clear. Um... The one thing that I'm very relieved about is this cold hasn't sat on my chest. It's in my throat. And my throat's sore. But it's not actually sat on my chest. It's not gone to my lungs, which I'm very pleased about. Um, 
so do I do craft yes I do do craft um so what um one thing that a lot of you have know about is I do do a lot of craft but I haven't done much in the last year however the um craft stuff that I've got planned for once I've moved I've got so many plans for crafting once I've moved the craft room is going to be brilliant you are going to see so much crafting from me over the next year there's going to be loads um I'm going to be making more teddy bears I am going to be doing um crafting live so if you want to you can do crafting with me for my subscribers and the people who subscribe to me and join me on my discord for subscribers only there is going to be uh craft kits available for you to buy and then those craft kits you'll be able to make things with me so i might do one month i might do um I don't know. I might do a... I might make something. Or I might sew something. Or I might do a particular craft kit. And I'll put those craft kits together. And then if people want to do them with me, they can. <coughs> no idea where Padbury is, Dan. Never heard of it, sorry. You having fun there, Luna? <laughs> do, do, do. Thank you for the heart me's, guys. Thank you, M Monaco. Thank you for the heart me. Thank you very much. I'm okay, Shannon. Yeah, this is me improving. Um, so, yeah, have I ever tried diamond art? Bex, I love diamond art. I have a box full of diamond art and I'm so looking forward to getting back into the diamond art. I really am. Anna Lou, Naughty Corners, thank you for the heart me's. Luby Lou, thank you. Monaco, thank you for the roses. Uh, Doodle, that competition finished uh, last week. Jackie, thank you for the heart me. Thank you, Doreen. Thank you. It's nice to be back. <clears throat> Monaco, thank you for the roses. Not COVID, no Lynn. Thank you so much for the hat who sent that class one driver. Yeehaw, thank you very much, Mel. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you for the flame hearts. Thank you. Do, do, do. When will you start decorating for Christmas? Doodle, after the move. Um, the Christmas tree will go up after I've moved because <laughs> there's no point putting it up here um so with the unpacking the Christmas tree will go up um I've got a plan for how I'm doing things at the new house and the um unpacking is going to be taking quite a while um the unpacking is not going to all be done before Christmas. I'm not even going to try and do it all before Christmas. Um, so on Monday or Tuesday, I should have the moving date confirmed. <coughs> so I'm not going to say the date I'm hoping for yet. But I'm hoping that in two weeks time, now in two weeks time, I will be sat in my new house talking to you. I hope. That's all I'm going to say. So, yes, that is the hope. That is the plan. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, Art Deco. Exactly, Jackie. It's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. So, yes. Hi, Mia. So, I just want to remind people, if you are a subscriber... If you are a subscriber and you are planning on entering the craft, um, sorry, not craft. If you are planning on entering the Christmas competitions for the subscribers, you need to be in the Discord. 
okay? Um, so if you are a subscriber and you want to enter the competitions, you need to be in the Discord because that's where the competitions are being done. So just to remind people, um, if you have been subscribed since September and you stay subscribed all the way through to December, don't forget you can enter the competitions. There will probably be... <coughs> Do I need to use the inhaler? Yeah, hold on a minute. Right. Um, what was I saying? Yes, there will probably be a non-subscriber mini competition. Oh, thank you so much for the naughty chicken three hearts. Thank you so much. Um, there will probably be around Christmas... Um, there will probably be a couple of mini competitions, a couple of mini things for followers, okay? But the main competition is on the Discord for the subscribers. And you need to be a, you need to be a subscriber to get into the Discord. You cannot get into it via links or anything. Those people who tried to share the links to the Discord, yeah, you failed. <coughs> And Frank, thank you for the heart, me. Thank you. So this is Luna. Everybody knows who Luna is. If you don't, you're probably new, so welcome. This is Luna. She's six, six and a half nearly. She's a pineapple green cheek conya. And she loves sitting in my hair. Now she's got her foot caught in the hair. Um, right. Let's untangle you. Hold on. <coughs> She's got her foot caught round my hair, as you can see. Yeah, I know. Let me untangle your foot. It's important to do it slowly because the bird's legs are very thin. I don't want to break her legs. There you go. Oh, big wing stretch. Oh, there you go, showing off her lovely colours. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Luna. Um, she's a pineapple green cheek on you. She hatched in April 2018, but we don't know what date she hatched. So we know she hatched in 2018 in April, but I got her on the 23rd of July 2018. So we celebrate that as her birthday, but we know she hatched on the in the April. Uh, yes, Heartstopper, my poppy is over there. I'm afraid I didn't think of putting it on for this, but yes, my poppy is over there. I've actually got one of the bracelet ones rather than the pin-on ones. <laughs> <coughs> no, Tracy, I was just saying that I'm hoping we, um, I'm hoping we exchange on Monday or Tuesday. Thank you, Daisy, for the fluffy penguins. Thank you very much. <coughs> Someone sent me an elephant. I'm so sorry I missed it. Thank you so much. Who sent me the elephant? Who sent me an elephant? Let me see if I can scroll back and see it. Daisy, thank you for the crown. Sorry I missed that. Just trying to see an elephant. Daisy sent me an elephant trunk as well. Daisy, thank you so very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Daisy. Thank you for the heart, me, Josie. Am I going to Comic Con in May? Uh, number one star, I didn't know there was a Comic Con in May. Uh, where is it? <coughs> no, I wouldn't be going all the way up to Barnsley, no. Flem, thank you for the heart me. Matthew, thank you for the heart me. We'll have all the heart me's, guys. Thank you very much. Hello, my darling. You all right? In case you don't know, she likes to play in my hair. That's demonstrated right now. Tracy, thank you for the heart me. Kyle, thank you. Same as October. Okay, is it at the XL again? Same place. So, Star, I won't say no. I won't say yes. Um... <coughs> I won't say no and I won't say yes. I'll say it's a possibility. Um... It's definitely a possible, but we'll have to see near at the time uh, when it is and what else I'm doing and what other plans I've got. Thank you for the Vinces, Kyle. Ollie, thank you for the ladybugs. <coughs> <coughs> um, where is the Comic Con? It's the Green Mallow. The one I went to a couple of weeks ago was at the Excel Centre in London. So if it's the same place, then it'll be at Docklands XL again. Pumpkinies, thank you for the November hearts. Thank you. Um, as as Bolus, as Bo Lewis, um, I've had a bad cold for the last couple of weeks. Angel, I haven't moved yet. Hopefully in a couple of weeks' time. Oh, Josie, conjunctivitis is not fun. I've had it before myself. Uh, River, I've been having a lot of lem sips over the last couple of weeks. I've had a lot of lem sips over the last couple of weeks. What's the bird's name? Her name is Luna. Nana Bear, thank you for the roses. I'm just turning down um, go live requests. <laughs> have I ever been up Snowdon showing the love? Yes, I have multiple times. I lived in Snowdonia for seven years. Yes, Amanda, it's got a lot of people getting colds at this time of year. It's this time of year. Uh, Katie, Comic Con is um a big convention um based around comics anime films um characters dressing up as your favorite stars or your favorite characters and enjoying the atmosphere and geeking out being a geek <laughs> Oh, Zach, thank you for the duck. I'm not quacking at the moment, Zach, but thank you for the duck. I appreciate it. Good evening, Zach. I hope you're well. Thank you, Zach. I'll owe you some quacks some point. Thank you. Uh, would love to have gone to Comic Con 2018. Yeah, it's the first time I've been to a big Comic Con. Oh, Zach, thank you for the hearts. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't had COVID, no, it has just been a cold. I've done two COVID tests in the last, uh, I did a COVID test a week ago on the Thursday and I did another COVID test on Monday and both of them were negative. So no, it's definitely not been COVID. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you for the ladybug, Daisy. Yeah, thank you for the hat as well, Daisy. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
when am I moving, Debbie? We've actually just been talking about that. I hope that by two weeks' time, on Saturday in two weeks' time, I will sat talking to you from my new house. I hope. Um, Lewis, I am talking as normal as possible. It's um, a fact for a long time, nearly 28 years, I have regularly lost my voice. So, Lewis, I am not worried about losing my voice because I do it all the time. <coughs> I'm not moving on a Saturday, Carol, don't worry. I'm talking about in two weeks' time, I will be talking to you from the new house. I'm not talking about moving on the Saturday, no. Yes, it has, Dawny, but hopefully we're near the end. Hopefully. Ah, oh, Josie, I'm so sorry. I'm doing my best for you. <coughs> um, Eliza, I just answered that a minute ago. I might be. I can't tell you for definite, but we'll see what happens. Right, that's somebody being blocked. You're not welcome for being rude to other people in my life. Goodbye. Josie, please ignore the idiot who was just rude to you because I've just banned them. I apologise for that, Josie. I apologise. Please ignore them. I have banned them for you. <coughs> Debbie, it's not actually on my chest. It's in my throat. Josie, you did nothing. Josie, you did nothing. I have banned them for being rude to you. Green one. And I've been told that I can use it 10 puffs half an hour, leave it for half an hour, and then I can do 10 more puffs in half an hour, if, uh, if at my worst. <coughs> no, I don't have asthma, Patty. I've never, I've been checked, but I do not and have never had asthma. <coughs> <coughs> she is doddy but i'm used to it she does it all the time she does it all the time <coughs> uh emma is called atrovent no demi it's not on my lungs no Uh, Sophie, if you're talking about the salt water nasal rinses, I use them already. If you're talking about the salt water sprays, I already use them. <coughs> they do, Veronica. They really do sense when you're feeling rough. See how cute she is. Uh, Marge, I've got used to doing them and I do them every morning and every evening. Correct, Becca, yes. She is playing peekaboo, Veronica. <laughs> Uh, Steph, I've lost my voice a lot for the last 28 years. <coughs> um, I'm always losing my voice. People often make jokes about me losing my voice and say I'm... My mum said to me earlier on I sounded like Daff D Daffy Duck at one point. <coughs> uh, 
<coughs> uh, so gonk saras, it helps my throat. So it's not doesn't help my lungs, but it helps my throat. <coughs> <coughs> I'm drinking loads, yeah. And I don't mean alcohol. I've got plenty of mods, Josie. I appreciate the offer. Thank you. <coughs> I'm deliberately ignoring a lot of comments, guys. So do me a favour, just ignore them with me. Because then eventually they'll give up and go away. <coughs> No, Cloud, she can't. No. <coughs> <coughs> uh, two weeks, Kane. Any plans this weekend? Uh, not really, um, Kirsty. Um, I have been making plans for after the move. I have been making plans for the new year for um, how I'm going to be doing things or what I'm going to be doing thing what I'm going to be doing in the new year. Um, like I said earlier, there's going to be a lot more craft content in the new year. There's going to be um, a few changes to how I do things. I will still do some stuff on TikTok. But I am looking at moving some of my content to a different platform and doing some of my content elsewhere. <clears throat> um, and that will be available to anybody who wants to join in. But I will talk more about that once I've moved and stuff in the new year. <clears throat> and for those of you who don't care, that's fine. You can move on and watch somebody else. <coughs> Kirsty, there's a lot of things to look forward to um so i'm going to be doing more bear craft ma making bears um i'm going to be doing diamond dart um what new rules heart stopper i'm actually really out of touch with with the new rules i'm aware that they're cracking down on swearing i'm aware they're cracking down on bullying i'm aware that they're doing more along those lines which i'm thrilled about i have no idea about what other new rules there are <coughs> hello anonymous um i'm looking forward to doing more um of all sorts of different things. Um, yeah, I've got so much that I want to get excited about, but I'm trying not to get excited about it at the moment. It needs to be after the new year, after my move, and there is going to be so much new exciting stuff to come. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Thank you for the roses, MJ. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Snoopy. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for the heart, me, uh, Kirsty. What are you doing? Are you playing peekaboo still? Uh, 1991. No, I've got no cruises books for next year. Um, it doesn't mean I won't go on a cruise, but at this point I have nothing booked. Um, <coughs> I... Um, I don't have any plans to go on holiday next year. However, I might go for a short mini break somewhere. I quite like the idea of going down to Cornwall. Um, I've never been to Cornwall. So it depends how things go. 
and also whether I can afford it. Um, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, Teddy, I've never actually been to Cornwall, so I'd love to go down there. I want to go to the Eden Project. Somewhere I'd really like to go. <coughs> Don't worry, Zena, Zena. I'm not going to let anybody tell me how to be. I am literally being myself. <coughs> no, Stephanie, I'm not putting my tree up till after the move. <coughs> yes, Lottie, I've done two COVID tests since this started. It's not COVID. Kirsty, I promise you, I'm never going to be somebody else because I am me. And I'm not going to be somebody else um, for anybody. <coughs> uh, do I have filigree? Um, I don't think so, Gemma. Don't think so. <coughs> it's not one I I I recognise the name, but I don't think I've got. What colour is it, Gemma? What colour is filigree? Um, thank you, anonymous, for the heart, me. Thank you. Why don't my questions get answered, uh, Isla? I don't see everything that gets asked, and. Um, I don't answer all questions because some of them just don't need answering ten times. <coughs> Thank you, Emma J. Katie, I've got no plans to do battles tonight unless people really want me to battle. That's Luna. That's an older picture of Luna, Josie. Yes, that's an older picture of Luna. Green. OK, Gemma, I only have two green bears. So that's uh, probably a no. I probably don't have filigree because I only knowingly have two bears that are green. Unless he's buried in a box and I've forgotten about him. And I have plenty of bears in boxes. So. <coughs> Emma J, thank you so much for the heart me. Thank you. Or MJ, I should say. MJ, thank you for the heart me. Thank you for the, uh, sorry, hand heart even. B, thank you for the heart me. MJ, thank you for the hand heart. Sorry, I got it wrong. <coughs> So after the move, I'm going to be sorting all my bears out. Um, I haven't properly displayed my bears for a good few years. So I've got a lot of bears that have been in boxes. After the move, I'm going to be sorting everything out. And it's possible that I'm going to have some bears to sell um, from my collection. K KT, what are you talking about? Where are they housing you? Uh, Katie, I own my own house. Um, I'm not in council housing or housing association housing. I own my own house. <coughs> heart, thank you for the roses. Carrie ann thank you for the heart, me. I'm moving to a bungalow, Josh. So I'm selling my, um my house and I'm moving to a bungalow because I need to be on one level rather than two levels. <coughs> Robert, thank you for the rose and Lisa, thank you for the candle. Unfortunately, Luna, I can't use scented candles because of Luna. Uh, 1991, over time, 
yes, we'll be decorating the new house. I will not be decorating as soon as I move, no. Uh, number one, I can't afford to. Number two, I need to do work on the house over the next couple of years. So over time, there will be decorating going on. But to begin with, no, there won't be much decorating happening straight away. Hello, Rocco Paws. There you go. <laughs> exactly once bitten, twice shy. I like your name, by the way. <clears throat> Hi, oh, hi, Ash. Thank you, Linz. It does take time out. Hello, Sky. Luna Lucy saying hello to you. <laughs> Ruby, thank you for the rose. Rocco, thank you for the candles. KT for the heart me. Thank you, guys. <coughs> uh, Pops, I don't have asthma. Thank you. Night Owl, thank you for the flame hearts. Exactly, Al. You don't do things as soon as you move. You take your time. You get to live in a place for a little while and decide what you want to do things. I'm looking at this to be my forever home. <coughs> so if it's my forever home for the rest of my life, I want to get it right. I don't want to do a new kitchen or a new bathroom and then decide nah that's not what I want so I want to redo things <coughs> I don't want to redo things twice I want to do them once and then maintenance afterwards <coughs> Fantastic raising two monkeys. Congratulations. <coughs> Congratulations. Abs, no, it's not council or um, housing association. I own my own home. <laughs> I've owned my own home since 1997. Um, remember I'm 50, I'm not 30, and I used to work a lot, so it's not like I've never worked, um, and house prices have gone up a lot, but I've also bought my first house back when prices were very low. <coughs> Thank you for saying I don't look 50. Thank you, Scouse Grinch. I take that as a compliment. Thank you. Oh, good luck, Josie. I hope they go really well. <coughs> Who needs a hairstylist or a hairdresser when you've got a parrot? Especially when they shake tail feathers in your hair. <laughs> Who needs a hairstylist when you've got this little rat bag climbing around you? Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm 50. I'm 50, Betty. Yeah. It's better than it was, Biker, but it's still, I'm still coughing. I'm still croaking. <coughs> no, Mr. Ellis, I don't have any merch. No. Where did you get your hair done? Uh, if you're talking about this colour, um, this is my really dark purple that I had back in May. This is the colour fading out. 
So I dyed my hair purple purple back in May and it's now fading over time. <laughs> she is a little cutie, isn't she? She's my six year old, her name's Luna. It has been dragging on Bethany, yeah, I hope it um, hurries up and hopefully in two weeks time I will have moved. Um, well, after, after my move and stuff, I'm going to get it colour corrected back to one shade of colour. So, yeah. It's not my top priority, though. It'll get done when it gets done. Luna's still quite happy, so she's what matters. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, Telegraph. So, yes, Telegraph. Um, I will answer that because I have answered that before. Luna doesn't go near most of my bears. Um, most of my, uh, what I would call bears, that she can't go near, especially the mohair bears, are not in the same room as her. A lot of my mohair bears here have been in my bedroom or upstairs somewhere. After the move... I'm going to have Luna in the conservatory and my snug and then the living room because I've got a carpet in the new living room. Luna will not be going in the new living room at all because it's carpet and I don't want to have the trouble of trying to clean her droppings, her poop out of the carpet. So um, she will be staying in the rooms which are easier to clean. Um and it's as simple as that so yeah um and then there'll be more teddy bears in the living room in um different areas <clears throat> it's not cruel at all rosie it's just common sense lots of people have dogs and cats that they don't allow in different rooms it's no different from me saying that Luna can be in the snug and in the conservatory and in the conservatory hall kitchen area. She's going to have her own bedroom for crying out loud. <laughs> As a user, Luna's going to be in the conservatory in the daytime. But she's going to be in the snug at night time where she will be a lot warmer. And also, when I move, Luna's not going to be around for a while. Luna is going to the bird sitter to be looked after. And she'll probably go to the bird sitter sometime next week. And then she won't be around for a good couple of weeks because she'll be with the bird sitter while I'm settling in. Uh, so Heartstopper, I'm planning at the moment on keeping the carpet because it's a very nice carpet and to try and change the carpet in the living room would be quite expensive and i can't afford to do that at the moment so i'm gonna lift her down for a minute in case she, in case she needs to poop do you need to poop she doesn't poop in my hair she never has done but i know that sometimes i lift her down from my hair and she poops and yep she's just done a poop She's literally just done a poop on the floor down there onto a tissue, which is why I held her there. Literally, she's just done a poop. So that's called reading your bird's body language and knowing what your bird is like. <coughs> Aoife, no, I haven't moved yet. No. No, no move yet.
<laughs> I'm hoping, hopefully, Xander, hopefully we're going to exchange on Monday. <coughs> Thank you, Natalie. Don't worry, I'm never going to change. Aoife, yes, hopefully before Christmas. Very definitely. <coughs> and, no, it's no bigger in actual square footage. However, it's a bungalow, so it's on one level rather than two stories. So it's a bungalow, which is one level. <laughs> uh, Jack, so um, I dyed my hair in May, a uh, really nice purple colour, and this is the colour fading. So over time, it's faded to this very light purple, which is a bit of a mermaidy type colour. Uh, the chain is very short, Telegraph. It's my buyer, me, the lady I'm buying from, and the flat she's buying. So that's it. That is the chain. <coughs> <coughs> no, she's playing with my hair, Jessica. She's not eating my hair. She's playing with it. No, Luna is a pineapple green cheek Konya who doesn't want me to lift her up. That's me trying to lift. There you go. So she wouldn't get out my hair for a second. There we go, Luna. Let me pull the hair again. There we go. She is a pineapple green cheek Konya. All her markings, all her lovely colours. Collars, colours even. Uh, she can mimic some things. Uh, Jeremy, um, she can say hello, give us a kiss, 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 yes, and stop it. Ta da! Yeehaw, thank you, Henry. <coughs> Thought I was going to get a kiss in there before she moved. So Luna molts feathers all the time, pumpkin. Um, but I can show you. Here's a couple of tail feathers she's molted this last couple of weeks. So there you go. There's two tail feathers there. I have a box of her tail feathers from the last six years. Um, as long as the tail feather is in good condition, I keep it. And I have a box full of them. So I'm hoping that when I send Christmas cards out this year, I'm planning on including tail feathers in them. <coughs> <coughs> I've also got a couple of craft ideas for next year. Um, I've got a couple of craft ideas to do with Luna's tail feathers. I'm thinking about making um, some dream catchers for people. And basically when I make stuff on TikTok or on other platforms, um, when I make stuff, that stuff will be for sale. <coughs> so I won't be sending hundreds of feathers out, but I will be sending some. No, I haven't got COVID, Miriam. Um, I've done two COVID tests in the last two weeks. <laughs> uh, Narissa, so I just showed a minute ago, Luna had been playing in my hair for a while and I was aware she hasn't pooed for a while. So I lifted her out of my hair and held her to the side and she did a poo because she won't poo in my hair. She never does. She's never pooed in my hair. <clears throat> now I don't like dream catchers for um what they're supposed to be for dream catching. I don't believe in that. But 
I think dream catchers are very pretty decorative and made nicely. I think dream catchers are decorative. So from that point of view, um, I like them, but I don't believe they actually catch dreams and things. I, I don't believe in that. <coughs> So, Nerissa, birds don't we. A bird like Luna, in fact, no bird wheeze. They only poo. And a bird that is healthy won't have a runny poo or a wet poo. It will be tight. Um, however, a bird like Luna that sometimes has a fruit, has fruit, um, when they have fruit, their poo tends to be very runny. So if I gave her apple, about 15, 20 minutes later, her poo would be runny for a little while. She can eat blueberries, Charlotte. Yes, she's not keen on them, but she can eat them. Um, one of the things she really likes is things like pineapple and papaya, nuts and seeds. <coughs> I'm not a good macrame person, no. Yeah, exactly, Louise. They poop everywhere. <coughs> RB, you've got hedgehogs. Yeah, I've got hedgehogs that live locally. I don't know whether they live in my garden. But I've got hedgehogs, badgers and foxes and mice. And I see all of them quite regularly on my CCTV. Yeah, exactly, Carla. Their wee is mixed in with their poo. And a bird will not drink too much water. Um, most bird poo is fairly solid. <coughs> yeah, Callum, um, birds are mimics. Um, I know of multiple birds that know how to set Alexa off, including one of my moderators, her Konya, now knows how to say Alexa. Luna has never learned it, thank goodness. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I've not moved yet. Judy, I have found a new church. Yes, I have. I've already been to the new church a couple of times and I've been watching online services as well. Yes, I've found a new church that I'll be going to after the move. <coughs> um, Amanda, any animal can have health issues. Birds are very good at hiding when they're not well. Any bird keeper will tell you that it's important that you get to know your bird and its body language because birds are incredibly good at hiding when they're not well. So it's incredibly important that you know your bird's body language and you spend time with your bird for that reason. <coughs> uh, Michael, no, I don't go to church every Sunday. I haven't been to church as in regularly to church for a long time. Um, I enjoy my local, uh, my new church online services. Um, Helen, yes. Um, the new church I've chosen, I've been going to for a while online. Um, once I knew where I was moving to, I looked around a lot of churches in the area. It's not on the doorstep, but I like the church. So it's not necessarily about going to the church that's closest, but about going to the church that suits you the best. <clears throat> no, I've had a bad cold, Donna. It's nothing to do with Luna. I've had a bad cold. <coughs> exactly, Sarah. I am a Christian, Lucy, yes.
and I will be doing a Bible study um, in the new year. Was planning on doing it before the new before Christmas, but it hasn't happened because of the move and everything. Uh, but I am going to be doing a Bible study on the run up to Christmas. I'm going to be doing an Advent Bible study. Um, and if anybody wants to do and uh, uh, to join me with the Advent Bible study, you would be very welcome. It'll just be for a few minutes every day. Sometimes it'll be on live and sometimes it'll be recorded. Ah, oh, Salicious, thank you so much for resubscribing. Thank you. Sarah, I respect your respect. And Sarah, I have no problem with other people's choices. I just want to make that clear. Um, I have no problem with people who say they don't believe. I have no problem with people who say they believe something else. Everybody is free to choose. It's as simple as that. <coughs> Thank you, Tamika. I hope the baby settled for you. What are you doing? You are having a love affair with my hair this evening, aren't you? Right, you're tangled again. Can I grip you for it? Yeah, I know you don't like me gripping you, but you really have tangled my hair again. Right. Do it like that. Right, where is my hair? Tangled. She's literally holding my hair with both feet. She's literally holding her hair with both feet. Luna, can I have my hair back, please? Yes, I know. But if I can have my hair back... Right. <laughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> Are all religions welcome to your Bible study or just Christians? Um, so, Jamie, anybody is welcome to the Bible study. It is from a Christian perspective. I want to say that. Um, I won't be um, entertaining, um, trolling. I won't be entertaining people who are just being silly. I want to make that clear. Um, everybody has an opinion and that is absolutely fine. Um, anybody can join in of any faith. Anybody can join in. That's the whole idea of doing a Bible study online is that anybody can watch. I have no problem with that. Um, uh, yeah. So the Bible studies were going to ma um, were going to start before Christmas, but because of the move not happening ages ago when it was meant to, that's why I'm now just doing a Advent Bible study on the run up to Christmas, and then in the new year we'll start more other Bible studies. Um, there's a book that I've chosen that we're going to do first of all. Yes, Matthew, the key word is respect. That is a very important key word, respect. Anybody's opinion is respected. Doesn't mean we have to agree with each other's opinion, but we have to respect each other's opinion. That is very, very definite, Matthew. Thank you for that. That's the word I was looking for. Real clips, and I can honestly say the answer to that real clips is both yes and no. I wanted to get married years ago. I nearly did get married to the same person twice. But I didn't because I realised he wasn't the guy for me. I'm scratching her feathers, Vicky. So you scratch your feathers like this. Scratch the bird's feathers. It's helping them preen the keratin off of the new feathers. 
It helps them crack the keratin that's around the feathers they can't reach. And you see the white dust that comes off her. That is the keratin flaking off of the new feathers. And she finds it very relaxing. I'm not actually hurting her when I'm doing this. Uh, Helen, it'll be a bit of both. It'll be a bit of both, Helen. Some of it will be on TikTok. Some of it will be on Discord or other platforms. Some of it will be live and some of it will be recorded. Yeah, she could easily fly away if I was hurting her and she didn't like it. <laughs> What's her name? Luna. And when she's squealing like that, it's not actually unhurting her. That's her way of saying to me, Mum, that feather's not yet ready. Because I can feel the feathers, but I can't necessarily see whether they've still got um, blood flowing in them. So if they're still blood feathers, they're not yet ready to preen. And so it's her way of telling me that one's not yet ready, Mum, leave that one alone. Just turning down some going live requests. There we go, just decline those. She's six and a half boiled egg. All birds molt all the time. All birds molt all the time. So all birds are constantly losing feathers and growing new feathers. I've got no plans on pairing Luna, Megan. Sorry, darling, I didn't mean to pinch that one. Sorry. So I've got no plans on pairing Luna. However, um, I'm thinking about getting Luna a friend, and that's the difference. Uh, so Telegraph, the first thing I'm doing is a book. Um, I did talk about the book a while ago. It's on my link tree. The book is called If You Want to Walk on the Water, You've Got to Get Out of the Boat. And it's a book talking about faith. The book is pinned in my link tree if anybody wants to get a copy. And I will be doing that on a subscriber only live. But it will be live so people can join in the discussion. It will be open to anybody to watch. But I stress only subscribers will be able to verbally join in and come in the boxes and talk. That is to cut down how much trolling and bullying happens during those lives. Because if I had it open for a free-for-all, you can guarantee there'll be a lot of idiots, trolls and bullies. That is the only reason it will be a subscriber only joining in. That is the only reason. <coughs> But anybody will be welcome to join in um, without actually subscribing. Anybody will be able to join in um, with reading the book and listening to the discussions. And if you want to buy a copy of the book, you can either get um, a Kindle copy or you can get a copy from Amazon. And before anybody says to me, are you making money from it? No, I'm not. <laughs> you know what, Steve? <sighs> I've had enough of you. You're obviously here to troll. See ya. <clears throat> of course it is, Callum. Anybody can listen. If you want to get a copy of the book for yourself, there's a lot of things in the book that people can fill in for themselves. There's questions. There's thinking points. There's so many different things in the book. And we'll be taking it slowly as we go so that people can think about it. People can read the book for themselves. Yep. 
and it's a really good thought-provoking book i've read it multiple times and it's got a lot of good um talking points no aims face i haven't moved yet hopefully in a couple of weeks time uh joseph i'm a christian what's the book called it's called if you want to walk on the water you've got to get out of the boat there's a link to it in my link tree if you go up here and go through to my main profile you can click through to the link tree and on my link tree is a link to amazon where you can buy the book <coughs> oh thank you callum uh helen i'm moving slightly closer to family but not a huge distance Oh, okay, Joseph. I have talked about my faith a lot more in the last year, um, especially talking about how my faith has helped me through the last year. Um, God has been my rock and my support and my foundation for um, everything. Oh, Haley, that is a deep question. I will answer that the best I can, Haley. The rapture will come when it comes. I believe in the rapture. I believe it will happen. Will it happen in my lifetime? I have no idea. The Bible is clear that nobody will know when the rapture is coming. The Bible makes that very, very clear. Now, there are signs that it could happen. But then again, those signs have been around for a very, very long time. Um, the rapture. OK, there's also debate as to when the rapture will happen in chronological order. Some people say the rapture will happen before Christ comes back to earth. Others say it will happen after Christ has come back to earth. And my comment is, it's not for us to worry about. That's for God to know. We'll know when it happens. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got to blow my nose again. <laughs> The Bible is made up. Caramel Top. You know what, Caramel Top? If that's your belief, you're quite entitled to your belief, just like I'm entitled to mine. So, yeah, if you're, you're quite entitled to your belief. Uh, Josie, because he rose from the dead after he was crucified on the cross and died, he rose from the dead and he ascended into heaven. He is alive today. I strongly believe that. That's the whole point of being a Christian. I believe that Christ is my saviour. He died on the cross to save me from my sins and save anybody who believes in him in him he'll he saves anybody who believes in him from their sins and he is alive today do i go to church on christmas day or midnight mass um, I don't know whether I'll be going to church on Christmas Day this year. I don't know. Um, I'll see how I'm feeling and I'll see how my parents are feeling. We'll see what the weather's like. Um, yeah. Uh, are you going to church and take communion? Um, I do go to a church online. 
Um, I went to a church online only a couple of days ago during the week. Um, I... Um, yeah. You don't have to go to church to be a Christian. Fantastic, Joe. That's fantastic. Exactly, Haley. Now, what people don't realise is the church is just a building. The actual church is the people. The building isn't the church. It's the people who make up the church. So you can have a church online just as much as you can have a church in person. That's why going to a church online is just as good as going to a church in person. Um, I am a Christian. I'm not one denomination or another. I am simply a Christian. I don't believe in rules and ritual. I don't believe in a person having a superior place in the church family. I believe in everybody being on an equal level and God is the head of the church, not a person in a white robe. A uh, Welsh lady, it doesn't need to be consecrated. Okay, where in the Bible does it talk about consecrating a building? It doesn't. That's not needed. That's called religiousness and being very ritualistic and religious. I am simply just a Christian. That's brilliant, Josie. Letting you decide for yourself is perfect. <coughs> uh, Josie, I will agree with you there. There are some things that I agree with from different denominations. Doesn't mean I have to choose that denomination. I am born again, yes, Telegraph. I am born again and I am filled with the Holy Spirit, yes. Hello, darling. You enjoying your preen? Yeah, Joseph, I've not been on for a couple of weeks because of my bad cold. I did my hair myself, Izzy. Hello, darling. Mwah. she can Aoife go for it thank you Joseph Alex how do I cope with the hate and videos you know what Alex I've just started ignoring them now you know what if people want to believe the lies if people want to believe stuff that's totally made up I can't stop them from believing stuff that is completely lies. And you know what? If people are going to make videos about me, <laughs> they're wasting their time. But you know what? I'm never going to stop it. So I'm just completely ignoring it. Okay, Aoife, that's a good question. <sighs> and it's a slightly tricky one. God has compassion, right? I, I believe, now this is what I believe, and I can't speak for other people, okay, Aoife? I can't speak for other people. Yeah, I've got no problem with you asking that, Aoife. Um, I will try and explain the best I can what I believe. There is an age where children simply don't know anything. And at that age, I believe that God, he doesn't need them to acknowledge their sin. I believe that a child is a child from conception. I believe that children are children at any age. 
Now, a lot of people will disagree with that. But this is my opinion. This is my view. And... I believe that any child um, that dies before an age where they can understand, that child will be saved. That's my belief. Now, that's my belief. Um, is it correct? I don't know. But that is why we believe something. Believing is believing in something without seeing the proof. That is called having faith. Believing something without seeing 100% proof. If you've got 100% proof about something, you're not believing it, you just know it. Amelia, everybody has the right to decide and choose for themselves. It is called freedom of choice. <coughs> Excuse me a second. Hey, TikTok queen. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for your lovely message, TikTok Queen. Thank you. And actually, thank you to so many of you who've been messaging me in the last week. Thank you. Rebecca, I'm neither. Rebecca, I'm neither. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's difficult for me to explain why I'm neither. But I hope it, I hope you'll understand when I say I'm neither one or the other. Thank you, Callum. Thank you. <coughs> no, I haven't moved yet. What would happen if you don't believe in God? Would a person not be saved and damned to hell? So, bird by nature. Um, basically, yes. In my opinion, in my belief, um, you need to be saved to have eternal life. Um, the Bible is very clear um, on why we need to be saved. Um, but you have to have faith. Um Sparkle 29, if that's your view and that's your belief, you are entitled to your view and your belief, Sparkle 29. You are quite entitled to your view and your belief. Actually, for that's a very good point. If you don't believe in God, you don't believe in heaven and hell. Yeah. Even the devil believes in God. Think about it for a second. The devil believes in God. And the devil knows that, the, that God will win in the end. The devil knows that. Uh, Victoria, this is my only main account. I have two backup accounts, but neither of them have this account name. Any other accounts with this name are not me. And I know there's plenty of trolls out there who are faking my account and copying my account. I know there are. So, Warren, I grew up in a Christian family. 
um, a C of E church going Christian family. But I became a Christian by true understanding at the age of 16. Oh, is that nice? Oh, yes. You can see how much she's enjoying the preening. A lot of these little squeaks that she's making are happy squeaks. Amelia, just by praying, when you accept Jesus as your Saviour and Lord, when you accept that we are all sin sinners, and when you accept that we can't get back to God by any other method except through Jesus, that is how you become a Christian. By simply praying and saying, God, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, let me, into, let me, um, sorry, come into my life. Guide me in how to live. I know I've done wrong and I want to live your way. Evening, Dan. I've had a bad cold. Yeah, I've had a bad cold, Annette, Susan. Yeah. But I am starting to feel better. Mrs. H, sending you love. Mrs. H, sending you love. I wouldn't say it was difficult, Warren. Um... Um, I had, I had a moment of understanding. Um, there's a difference between going to church and being a Christian. There's a big difference. And there's a big difference from going through the motions and actually being a Christian. To become a Christian, you can't just go to church. You've got to truly believe and that is why it's important to acknowledge and that's why being um what people say being born again people think people make fun of people because they literally think it means being born again and obviously it doesn't um being born again is being born in christ and that's what's so important exactly going to church doesn't make you a christian Um, so you say, surely you're only an actual Christian if you go to church. No, that's not true. Um, being an actual Christian doesn't mean you need to go to church every week. Being religious and following all the rules doesn't make you a Christian. Um, being a Christian is about following God, not following man. And yeah, thoughts on LBGBT and Christianity tomorrow. I say, you know what? I know plenty of gay, bi, lesbian Christians. I know plenty. You know what? They're Christians, just like I am. No Christian has not committed sin. Now, personally, I have no quarrel with anybody from the LGBTQ plus community. I have nothing against it. And um, sorry, that might be the wrong wording. I apologise. I, um, I say that no sin is greater than any other sin. 
and whether God, I'm saying what I believe, whether God sees it as a sin is not for me to say, all right? What God chooses to see as a sin isn't for me to say. Some of the thoughts I have about some of the trolls on here would be considered a sin. Okay? <laughs> yeah exactly god knows everything god just doesn't know what you act and do he knows what you think and what you say he knows everything before you've even thought it I'm going to laugh at that one and not comment because it's so not true. Um, so Jake, Luna was hand reared. Um, she was already tame when I got her, but obviously we had to build a bond up and Luna and I have been together for six and a half no six years just over six years I've had Luna July it was six years July August September October so six years and a quarter six years and three months I've had Luna and that's why she's we've got such a strong bond as she flies off to the cage to get some food <laughs>